While creating a game in Unity, you can preview its layout on different devices using this handy resolution modifier in the game view. It's totally fine for desktop apps, but if you develop a mobile game for iOS or Android, you may have a bit of a problem with the scaling and with any screen obstructions. What I mean is that many devices nowadays have notches, camera cutouts and other areas where you shouldn't put your content. Luckily, Unity created this great package, which allows you to simulate a mobile screen of many popular mobile devices. In this video, I'll show you how to install it and how to make your content scalable for every screen while taking safe area into consideration. Ok, so this is my example mobile game. In fact, you can check how to build it in my other video. As we discussed before, I can quickly preview how it will look like on different aspect ratios using this simple dropdown. But notice that this game has multiple elements at the very top and at the bottom. I think it would be a good idea to check how it looks like on other mobile devices using Unity Device Simulator. So the device simulator is not built in into Unity. We need to install the package. To do so, select Window, Package Manager, and here in the Advanced dropdown, select Show Preview Packages. Then let's go and search for Device Simulator, and here it is. To install, simply click this Install button at the bottom and wait a few seconds. After installation, you can close this window and notice that here in the Game View we have a new option. Instead of Classic View, we can select a simulator. So this is a preview of our app on the Apple iPad. But we can easily change that by selecting other devices here like Google Pixel. For each device, we can check its resolution and even simulate phone rotation. Of course, this game is not created for landscape view, so let's revert it. Now, how about checking other phone? But this time, the one with the notch, like iPhone X. And here we have a problem. Look, at the top, our hearts and keys are obstructed by the notch. What is more, if you click on this Save Area option, you can see where is it safe to put your game content. It turns out that the bottom section is also not safe because of the stock iOS close handler. So, how to fix it? Here you can see that I've created this content game object that is parent for all other objects in our UI. If I resize it a bit down, you can see that now the top part of the screen looks good. But how to do it automatically? It turns out that Unity has this built-in property called screen.saveArea to get the save area of your mobile device. We could create a new script and try to do that, but I have found a post from Adrian on Unity forums that does all the work for us. To make use of that, let's quickly set up our scene. As I said before, I have this content game object that basically contains all elements, but for the needs of this script, we'll call it save area. Also, make sure that save area anchors are set to double stretch. The best way to do that is to click on that anchor presets and select this icon in the bottom right corner while holding Alt or Option key on your keyboard. Then go to your canvas, click Add Component and create a new script called Canvas Helper. Open it, remove everything and paste in the whole script linked in the description. Now, time to test it out. Note that this script only works after you run the game. So click play, and now everything should be resized to fit the save area. Oh, maybe except this bottom part, but we can easily fix that by taking that bottom bar and resizing it outside of the save area. You can also do that for any kind of background. So that's it. Thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. Be sure to check out my other videos about PlayFab and Unity UI. See you soon.